Bereavement can be an incredibly difficult experience. Grieving will often cause some changes in mood, cognition and behaviour, and it is usually not a smooth process. Well, there's no real right way to respond to bereavement. Um, everybody responds differently, and there's a wide range of reactions that people might have. Very commonly, you find people shocked and feel really numb. Sometimes they can get very angry. Often, uh, they might feel that they, they can't come to terms with it. They, they're in, they deny what's happened or they refuse to accept it. So some of the other um, common reactions are sadness and depression, anxiety, withdrawal, confusion. Sometimes people, people feel overwhelmed and sometimes there's a sense of relief, particularly if it's been a difficult relationship or there's been illness. It's perfectly normal to feel relieved when the stress and difficulty of that situation has been resolved for both yourself as the person who's lost someone, but for the person that you've lost as well. This is a normal response and does not indicate a lack of love or care for the person. Death and loss is always really difficult to cope with um, and it can be really difficult uh, from our side to understand how we can be helpful to someone. While it is important to give people space, talking is an important part of the healing process. Please do reach out to the bereaved person so that they know you are available to talk, but also give them space and let them know they can respond whenever they feel able, or simply send them a message to let them know you are thinking of them. Also listen, try to respect what they are choosing to share with you and focus on active listening. Listening to understand, not to reply. Do try to make a judgment of the situation and it may be appropriate to ask some simple questions about the person that they've lost. Something like, what's your favorite memory of them? Um, that could be a nice opportunity for the person to bring about their nice memories and, and talk about them in a constructive way. If we have to encourage the people to talk about the person we love and maybe we can encourage them to show the, to look at the pictures, which is very normal in, in the grieving process. Provide information and help them to seek any relevant support, including practical information on registering a death or arranging a funeral. Do make sure that you think about any children who are involved and make sure that you seek out the support that they need as well. So don't avoid the subject. This can lead to an increased sense of loneliness and um, isolation. Don't dismiss their values and their beliefs and don't make assumptions about how they are going to respond to grief. Each culture has a different customs and rituals um, that influence the grieving, the, the expression of the grief. It's important not to give prescriptive advice, so you should try to avoid any phrases that begin with words like you should. And most importantly, don't expect to make things better. You're not going to be able to take away their pain, nor should you. Keep the focus on the bereaved person, rather than comparing to your own experiences of bereavement. Avoid empty words, statements such as uh, things are going to get better, um, I know exactly how you feel. Show respect. People may have strong religious or other beliefs. Be respectful of what matters to them. Be aware and acknowledge how painful bereavement may be for them. Be patient. Sometimes people are not thinking straight when they're very distressed and give them time to respond. You need to remember what the person's going through as well. So make sure that you don't judge people in the way that they respond to you. It's a really difficult time for them. In the COVID process, unfortunately, we couldn't do none of this. And therefore, maybe painful feelings, as I mentioned, it's more in depth than before in COVID process. So here are a few tips that you can think about giving to people who've been bereaved. You can advise them to try to speak to someone who will be non-judgmental and has good listening skills. That could be one of many different types of people. It might be a friend, a neighbour, a colleague, or a health professional or counsellor. And which doesn't help, and uh, keeping our feelings inside, not sharing with anybody else. So get plenty of rest and sleep, and prioritise your personal well-being. It's important to keep a regular routine, so make sure you have your meal, you're getting up at the same time, getting your exercise, and you're doing your regular activities uh, routinely. So get plenty of fresh air, and sunlight, and open win opening windows can be helpful. If you need to seek help, seek help from a professional in grief and bereavement and just remind them that seeking help 
is actually a strength. It's important to try not to do everything at once. Just set small, simple targets that you can achieve one step at a time. And importantly, remember not to focus on the things that you can't change. You can also check they are aware of the wide range of advice, information and support available. This includes, but is not limited to, services offering personal bereavement support, written information and advice, and support on grief and bereavement. Information about practical steps to take, including how to plan a funeral and register a death. Financial support that may be available to you. Talking to children about serious illness and death. And if you are having any difficulties, don't be afraid to ask for help.